Late news from a legendary athlete, Brett Favre, the former NFL quarterback and a 44-year-old grandfather. But there had been rumors he might make a comeback. And then late today, a very different and worrying headline. ABC's David Curley has the very latest right now. Over 20 years, quarterback Brett Favre took a pounding. The last hit of his career in 2010 knocked him out. It's one of the few times I kind of went blank there for a while in my career. Um, just a, the way I, I guess, was slung around on the turf. Now, three years after his career ended, Favre says he's frightened about the toll the game has taken. Today, telling Washington's ESPN Radio 570 that he has experienced memory loss. I think after 20 years, God only knows the toll. This was a little shocking to me that, that I couldn't remember my daughter playing youth soccer. and It was just one summer, I think. ESPN looked at the science of concussions. 60% are head-to-head. -head like a sledgehammer to the head, and it only takes 15 milliseconds. That is why the NFL has instituted new rules about head hits and paid out three quarters of a billion dollars to former players. Favre's admission came as his name came up as a replacement quarterback for an NFL team. It's not the first time since he retired, but he has the same answer. You know, it's flattering, but, you know, there's no way I'm, I'm going to do that. Favre, a future Hall of Famer, is one of the biggest names now associated with the NFL concussion problem. Favre says he has considered having tests done on his brain, looking for a buildup of proteins, which can be a sign of concussions. But he says he hasn't done it yet because there isn't much treatment now, even if they do find a problem. And Diane, even with the changes that the NFL has made, critics argue the game in America is still too violent.